Do you use a paper calendar, post-its, or a journal to keep track of your events? Watch this video to see how Apple Calendar can bring you from the Stone Age to the Tech Age. Apple Calendar's powerful app that is simple to use, and it has everything you need to stay organized without missing a beat. Stick around and I'll let you know about a special bonus that'll help make managing your Apple Calendar even easier. Let's dive in and take a look. First off, you can take advantage of different views with light and dark mode. Do this by swiping down on your control center and choosing dark or light mode. I've just turned on dark mode and now you see my calendar is dark. If I want it back on light mode, I can just turn it off right there. Easy peasy. Let's talk about multiple calendars. If you click on calendars at the bottom of your screen right here, you'll see all the calendars that I have added uh, and the ones checked are the ones that I view. I've also color coded my calendars. It makes it easier to see events. I'm going to open up my calendars and show you how we can color code your calendars. So on any given calendar, you press the I button and then down to color. And that's where you have a choice of colors. And then I'm done. I've made it custom and now you see I've changed the color of my calendar. Toggling calendars on and off is a good way to stay organized. To do that, just tap on the calendar you want to be active and tap on it again to deselect it. Let's start by how you view your calendar. There are different ways to view your calendar. Right now I'm in the year view. To see a month view, I tap on the month and now I see the month view. I don't find this view very helpful because I don't know what the event is. So if I click on the top on the view button, I'll see a list. And there I have my list underneath. I can also activate my weekly calendar by going back out and clicking on a day. And now I'm in a weekly calendar and I can easily swipe back and forth and it will go forward by a week or back by a week. And that's pretty cool. I can also press the list view button again, which is on the top of your screen. And that'll show me all my events in a running stream. So that's very cool also. Then I can go back out to my calendar. I can press today and get back to today. To add an event, you're gonna press the plus sign at the top of your screen. Give your event a name. I'm gonna call it planning. Uh, if I am going to be at a specific location, I can add the location by pressing here. I can also add a uh, Zoom information or FaceTime information if there's a link and it's remote. Scrolling down, you have a choice of making it an all day event or having the time put in. So click on the time and scroll to the time you want. So I'm gonna set up an event right now that'll start at 2 p.m. Uh, I'll make it one hour, actually one hour. And then if there's travel time, uh, you can put that in right there if you know what the travel time is. Uh, if you've put in a location at the top, Apple Calendar does sync with Apple Maps and it can figure it out for you. One of the things I love about uh, Apple Calendar is you can have an event that repeats. I like the repeat function because I can set up an event that repeats daily, weekly, monthly, or even yearly. I can also customize it if I need to. And then I can add an end repeat if I need to do that. This is helpful if you're going away for two weeks and you want it to repeat every day and then end when you come back. I can also choose which calendar to add this to. Right here are my list of calendars and I'm going to keep it where it was. I can also invite people by pressing invitees and they'll come out of my contacts. One thing I love about Apple Calendar is you can also add attachments. So if I know I'm going to need a specific file, I press add attachment and then I can browse it in files and add it. URL is to add the link and any notes I might need, I can type them in. Once I've added all the information, I press add and there's my event. I've just put it in and it's right here. And I wrote that it repeats yearly. Now let's say I want to change it. I just go up here to press edit and I can change anything I need. Now one of the nice things about if you're in weekly view, 
right now I'm in weekly view. If I want to change the time, it's very easy. I'm just going to hold my finger over the event and then I can slide it to where I need it, hold it and move it like that and put it where it needs to go. Something I make use of quite often when I'm setting up an event is adding an alert. I'm going to click on the event I just added and over by alert, I'm going to select it. And here's where I have a choice of when I want to be reminded that I have this event. So I usually do 30 minutes. I can also set up a second alert. Now, sometimes I like my alert to be the night before. I press a day before. It doesn't matter if it's alert or second alert, whichever comes first chronologically will go off. So in this case, I'm going to be reminded a day before that I have this event. And then again, 30 minutes before the event. Setting time zones in the calendar app is easy. I'm going to go back and edit this event. I'm going into time. When I select this, another menu appears that says time zone. I can click on it and put in another place. Let's say I'm going to be meeting with somebody on Zoom that's in London. I, I want to be sure that I'm meeting at the correct time for their time. I'll say London. And then for this event only, it's going to be showing that correct time zone. I'll press done. And then it tells me that that will be at 8 a.m. my time in order to be at 12.30 p.m. in London. Another thing I like about Apple Calendar is you can use Siri to set up an event. Hey Siri, add a meeting to my calendar. Mr. Johnson. Here's a tip. You can add a widget on your home screen so you can see your calendar quickly and see what your events are for the day. So let's see how we do that. Hold down on your home screen until you see the plus button and press it. Search widgets for calendar till it comes up. Press on it and then you can choose which of the calendars you want. You have a few choices. I'm going to choose the first one. I find that helpful. And then lastly, you're going to press add widget. Now it's going to appear on your home screen and you press done. Now I can see my events for the day easily on my home screen. If I click on it, it will open up to the day and then I can see Mr. Johnson meeting. Now one thing some people like in the view is to see a running list of everything they have. I accomplish this by pressing the list view. If I press it again, I go back to the week view. If I slide right, I go to the next week. Slide left, I go to the previous week. If I slide out, I go to the month view. If I slide out again, I go to the year view. I have covered how to set up and customize your calendar. Now it's your turn. Try out the features on your device and let me know in the comments below how it went. If you found my video helpful, click the like button and subscribe so you'll be notified when I have a new video out. Click below in the description to access the downloadable cheat sheet to help you with the calendar app.